This video will introduce you to the basic features and functions of the Renai MC-91-2 temperature controller. This controller is standard equipment on most Renai tankless water heaters and is optional on others. The following slides are also applicable to the MCC-91-2 controller, most commonly used in commercial applications. Before we illustrate the features and functions, I'll give a brief overview of the display, controls, and the indicators on the MC-91-2 controller. First, we'll discuss the LED display. This is a three-digit digital display. When the water heater is turned on, the normal display will be the water heater's set temperature, as seen here. This display will also show fault codes if an error occurs and it will display maintenance monitor readings or fault code history if a technician needs to access that information. Pressing the on-off button will turn the unit on or off and is also used in conjunction with other buttons to access other functions or information. Note that when a water heater is turned off at the controller, power will still be applied to the water heater itself. The up and down arrow buttons are used to change the set temperature and are also used in conjunction with other buttons to access other information and functions. Now for some notes in regards to changing the temperature selection. If the set temperature is 110 degrees or below, the temperature can be adjusted while the water heater is in operation. If the temperature is set above 110 degrees, then no adjustments can be made while the water heater is operating. In order to adjust the set temperature on a controller, the priority lamp on that controller must be illuminated. The priority function will be discussed in the next segment. In this segment, we'll discuss the priority function. Priority consists of a priority button and a priority indicator lamp. Priority comes into play primarily when multiple temperature controllers are connected to a single water heater. Up to four controllers can be connected to a single Renai tankless water heater. This allows the user to locate a temperature controller close to their point of view so they can conveniently set different temperatures for different uses in different locations. Only one output temperature can be set at a time and the priority indicator will be illuminated on the controller that is currently being used to set the output temperature. The same set temperature will be displayed on all temperature controllers connected to a single water heater. Note, if only one controller is connected to a water heater, that controller will always have priority and the indicator lamp will always be lit. When using the water heater, if you want hot water at the temperature currently being displayed on the controller, then no action needs to be taken other than turning on the hot water fixture. If you want to change the set temperature and the priority lamp is illuminated on that controller, then press the up or down arrows to change the temperature to the desired setting. If the priority indicator is not illuminated on your controller, then press the priority button. The priority lamp will then be illuminated and priority will be transferred to that controller. At that point, you can use the up or down arrows to adjust the temperature to the desired setting. You cannot adjust the set temperature on a controller that does not have priority. Now for some general notes in regards to the priority function. If the water heater is in use, priority cannot be switched from one controller to another. If you want hot water at a different temperature than is currently being displayed, you will have to wait until the water heater is not in use, then press the priority button to transfer priority to your controller. Then you can change the temperature setting to the desired output temperature. In the next few segments, we will discuss some of the auxiliary functions of the temperature controller. First, we'll show how to change the display from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Starting with the controller off, press and hold the on-off button for approximately five seconds. The display will switch to the opposite temperature scale. Repeat the procedure to switch back to the original setting. The 
The controller can also be locked to prevent tampering or inadvertent adjustments. With the controller turned on, press the priority button and the up arrow in that order at the same time for approximately five seconds. A beep will sound confirming the lock. The controller display will alternate between showing the set temperature and LOC. All controllers connected to that water heater will also be locked. When locked, all functions of the controller will be disabled, including the on-off button. Note, if a fault occurs, the fault will be displayed even though the controller is locked. To unlock, repeat the procedure. If you do not wish the controller to make any sounds, the beeping tone can be disabled. To disable the tone, press the up and down arrows at the same time for approximately five seconds. The controller will then beep to indicate the mute function has been enabled. Repeat the procedure to reactivate the tone. The circuit board on the Renai tankless water heater can record fault codes should they occur. To access the fault code history, press and hold the on-off button. After two seconds, also press the up arrow, then let go of both buttons. The display will then scroll through the fault code history. First, the fault position will be shown as a single digit, followed by the recorded fault, which will be a two-digit number. Up to nine faults can be recorded, with the most recent code being shown first. Two dashes will be displayed if there are no recorded faults or no fault for that position number. This display will repeat until it is turned off. To exit this mode, repeat the procedure with the on-off switch and the up arrow. The in-use lamp will be illuminated when the water heater is actively heating water. The controller also allows us to enter a maintenance information or maintenance monitor mode. To enter this mode, press and hold the down arrow. After two seconds, also press the on-off button. A 01 will be displayed briefly followed by the water flow rate in gallons per minute. The display will be indicating gallons and tenths of a gallon. If you see a single digit, that will be tenths of a gallon. If you see a two-digit number, that will be gallons and tenths. For example, a single digit eight will indicate eight tenths of a gallon per minute flow. If the display showed a 28, that would indicate 2.8 gallons per minute. No decimal will be shown. If you press the up arrow, A 02 will be displayed, followed by the actual reading of the output temperature of the water heater. To exit the monitor mode, repeat the procedure with the down arrow and the on-off button.